Welcome back to our channel. We are the World Family Explorers, Chris, Ellie, Logan, and Connor. We left our life in the U.S. behind for a world of adventures, and today's journey takes us to the mystical Valley of the Kings. Join us as we unravel the secrets of history in three premium tombs, including the final resting place for the legendary King Tut. Get ready to embark on an unforgettable expedition with us. Let's dive in. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are in Luxor, Egypt. We are staying on the West Bank and we are going to the Valley of the Kings today. Exciting day, <laughs> what we've been kind of waiting for. Yeah, almost got run over by a little scooter up there. <laughs> We're up bright and early to try to um, go before all the crowds and, and all the, the heat. heat. <laughs> So we're gonna get on our little bus right now. It's only about 10, 15 minute drive, I think, from us. All right, so I'm, I'm most excited about seeing King Tut's tomb, so. That's actually <laughs> gonna be the smallest one we see today. <laughs> I'm excited to see some of the larger ones, but. All right, come along with us. All right, let's go. <laughs> So we got our tickets for the tombs and then we added on two tombs as well. So you have like the standard ticket, then you can add on certain tombs like toasts, you know. <laughs> Connor really wants to see that since King he's been learning all about it. And then Logan is excited because King Tut was nine years old. Right, whenever he started raining, and you're gonna be nine years old and have your birthday. So. Now, in order to get up to the actual tombs, you do have to get a little card ride. Now, this is not included in your ticket. You will have to actually buy your tickets for those, and it was 20 pounds. So now we're on our way up the mountain, I guess. Yeah, the tour guide was trying to make us pay extra, and we thought we needed to have that to get the cart, but yeah, the cart is separate whether you have a tour guide or not. Yeah, it was a little, a little confusing on how we- 20 pounds yeah. each, Connor. 20 pounds each. Oh. <laughs> so, not very expensive, at least we don't have to walk with the like some families are doing right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're Woo. gonna go up. We're gonna go see some tunes. Yeah. All right. Yay. Hopefully the mummies don't come alive, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> The man, the myth, the legends. King Tut. <laughs> King Tut. What did you think, Connor? You were pretty excited to see him. That was your first time seeing a mummy, huh? He actually has the smallest too. You know what, though? It makes me a little bit sad that he's no longer like resting how he was supposed to rest with yeah. like his head dress. They disturbed his rest. Yeah, so that makes me a little bit sad that like, he's out here all for show. But the tomb is really cool. It was very easy to find. And his actual encasement is in the Cairo Museum. Cairo Museum, yes. Um, what the, yeah. They usually leave the heart in the tomb. Oh, he was saying that whenever they did a, they basically did a body scan on him and they noticed something interesting. Usually in the mummies, they would leave the heart in, but he was actually missing his heart. And another interesting thing is whenever they scan his bones, they discover that he had malaria and a broken foot. It's unclear how he died. Somebody killed him is what happened, yeah. Probably. <laughs> he, probably somebody killed him and took his heart. Yeah. Not I know a lot of people, from what we were reading yesterday, a lot of people were mad at him because of his dad. I guess his dad wasn't their favorite king, right? So, pretty interesting history of learning more about him. Um, but it's really cool to actually see the tomb and then, of course, all the beautiful decorations over there. The hieroglyphics are really well painted. Very nice. Are just preserved. stunning, like incredible.
So right now we are in the King Ramses the sixth tomb. It was actually originally for the, the King, King Ramses the fifth, I guess. Uh, but his uncle took over his tomb and kind of took it as his own and finished it out. Bad it's uncle. Unclear <laughs> if the original King the fifth, uh, if he was ever actually, if his body was actually ever here. So very interesting but it is one of the bigger tombs here and it's very decorated i mean it really shows a big difference between king tut's um tomb which was very sparsely decorated like the hallway well, he, had short life, so. he had very short life and they had to bury him very very quickly in his tomb so they didn't get to finish it i guess they only actually decorate the main chamber but here the whole entire hallway is decorated like the yeah. walls the ceiling and you can see like the the detail in all of these, it would have been amazing to see it when it was it's, it's amazing to see right now, like how colorful it all is. And the ceilings, everything. The ceilings. This is pretty, pretty spectacular, and we haven't even entered the main tomb yet. We're just <laughs> in the walkway. We're going to lose our kids if we don't keep going here. Right. Hey kids, wait for us, unless you want to get lost in the tomb. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, we are going into Seti, the first tomb. It is supposed to be the deepest, the longest, and the most beautiful. So I guess we'll find out because it was very expensive. It was like 40, oh. 47 US a person. Crazy expensive, <laughs> wow. But it has to be worth it. We'll see, we've heard we, great things about this. We shall find out. We, we thought it was yeah. only like $30, and then we got to the thing and had to bribe some people. It was a craziness. So now this <laughs> tomb was discovered in 1817. Actually, an Italian discovered it and it was discovered a couple of days uh, apart from his father, Ramsey the first. So Seti's uh, reign was all about arts. So that's why his tomb is supposed to be like the most decorated and beautiful one. So we'll see. All right, well the ceiling here, it is very beautiful, like very ornate. And we're just in the entry area right now. There is two massive staircases whenever you're coming into this tomb. Yeah. Now his body was not found here. So I don't know if it was moved at certain points. It's never very here. Be careful kids, it's steep. No, I'm going deeper. All right. <laughs> okay, come on down with us. Let's go. All right, we gotta go in the plank here. Wow, okay. <laughs> walk the plank. Come on, come on. Logan. Logan, you gotta walk the plank, guys. Come Play. on. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. Walk the plank. I'm not walking. Walk the plank. <laughs> yeah, so far, it's the steepest one, I would say. Oh, yeah. Steepest because it has to go so deep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a snake with three heads and it has wings. Pretty cool, huh? And it has human legs. You're right, it has human legs. That's and crazy. And also in the front. In the front too, that's so cool. Guys, so be very careful. We're going over a bridge. I don't want to fall down there. You don't no. want to fall down there? No, not at all. Oh, that is true. That is a little ways down. Holy moly, okay. Um, I feel like you got it, buddy. You got it, buddy. You need a higher railing on this one. Oh, yeah. If you fall, you're falling way down. <laughs> I think you're going to die if you fall. <laughs> yeah, don't fall. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. if you fall, okay, so we're entering the first chamber. Yeah. Wow, look at this right here. This is definitely really deep. Yeah. Wow. I'd love to know what 
these guys are talking about. Right I here. know. I really wish we did. It's, I'm gonna have to do some more research on my film while we're here. Yeah, but I mean, actually, guides aren't it. guides aren't allowed to go with you inside yes. the tomb, right? Oh so, yes, that's correct. The guides will only uh, basically give you information in the visitor center and outside, but they're not allowed to come inside with you because basically they don't want it to take too long, too many groups, big groups coming in here, and the guide explaining everything and taking a long time. Yeah, like I really so, wish that a guy could come in and say. This is the meaning of this particular hieroglyphic, but unfortunately, yeah, the guides can't come in with you, because that yeah. would be great, because I'd love to know like what these symbolize here, but maybe when we're taking pictures and video, yeah. later we can go back and find exactly. out. Exactly, I, I have a little write-up on it, that way we can read a little bit as we're seeing different things, so it always helps to do a little bit of research before you come to these places, Yeah. or to just have a little bit of a guide pulled up mm -hmm. on your phone to be able to get a All little right. more All right, well, we're gonna keep up with the kids here, because we don't want to lose them. Yes, definitely not. <laughs> before they did any carving yeah. or before they did any painting. So this was like the start of what they would do in the beginning that they never finished. So pretty amazing. Really amazing. Wow. This tomb is just massive and amazing, and all of the intricate carving is just next level. I can see why this is one of the top tombs that they charge extra for. It just goes on forever. Every time I think it's over, there's another area to like go down and explore. So. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So would you say it's worth the extraordinary price? Uh, <laughs> I think. Yeah. It's such a hard call. Know. It's so either you pay know. it or you don't see it. So I guess yes. it's worth it. That's I right would here. Say. So right here is where they're actually killing a bull to eat. Oh my gosh, it's so neat to see like their stories of their daily lives and what they did.
All right. We are making out a tomb. We did. <laughs> it was huge. So at first I wasn't quite sure if it was worth it, but after seeing all the different areas of it, I would say the add-on was totally worth it. Just buy your tickets for any add-ons up front. Yeah, buy it up front or you'll have to bribe people to get back out to add it on like we did. Nightmare. <laughs> Nightmares. So just buy anything that you want to do. Buy it up front. Come early. I think 6.30, 7 o'clock is the perfect time to come. That way there's no lines. Mm. And then honestly, for the ones that you have to pay extra for, they're not crowded at all. So. Yeah. So we, they were supposed to only be like 30, like 30 US extra, and it ended up being like 47, so. Definitely expensive, but I'd say worth it. Yeah, it's really, really cool. All the details in here are incredible. Even like the room that was like raw and unfinished was really cool to see. Yeah, like how the start of how they sketched it and then it became yeah. like what all the other ones exactly. were, which was amazing. So it was really, really neat. Highly recommend it. I think this, the Valley of the Kings, by far, was my favorite thing we have done in Egypt. So. Oh, definitely. I mean, even, beats the, even beats the pyramids for me. Just like oh, yeah. the attention to detail. Is insane. Oh yeah, I mean this is this is why they built these like because the pyramids obviously they easily found out ways to rob them Yeah, but in the Valley of the Kings they buried them underground and they still haven't found all of the tombs They're so, still missing so if you hopefully in our shirts, lifetime hopefully in our lifetime they'll actually find more tombs and uncover them Shukran. Where from? Uh, Canada. 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 I must have like I'm from Holland. He's like, nah, 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 nah. Oh, man, you're not Canada. All right, made it through the gauntlet of the market. We made it, Ellie. Did you make it? How'd you feel about the market? Did you feel any pressure? <laughs> lots and lots of pressure. Lots of pressure. But we made it through. This was an incredible experience. Come early, pay extra. Right now, all the included tombs were crazy busy. And yeah. it is 1046 in the morning. I'm definitely glad we paid for the what's supposed to be the most beautiful tomb, which was. Oh, I forgot a name now. Right. It was. We'll put the it on the screen. Expensive, right there. <laughs> incredible. Detailed, huge, just worth every penny. Yeah. But another tip, the golf carts, you don't have to do the golf carts. It just takes you a very short little ride up the mountain. It's not really Yeah, we needed. paid extra. We ended up, you know, coming back because it was included. But, but the golf carts needed. are not needed because it's like just up the hill. Yeah. I think they just want to charge you extra. Or of course if you have a disability, you'd want the golf cart. Yes. But, yeah. What's oh Connor has a question. What's up? My friend actually gave me this fan. Oh, gave you a fan? Yeah. Oh. It is hot. Oh, one of the Egyptians gave him a little fan out of cardboard. Huh? That was nice. That was your friend. <laughs> world School. Oh, World School. Uh, okay, cool. Very cool. But yeah, it is hot, and I just, I definitely recommend you come early and you <laughs> pay the extra. <laughs> That's it for today. We'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. That is worth it.